It's just uh, a lot of roller coaster of a game almost. A lot of things yeah. happen. A lot of scoring in this game, uh, but you got got the win. Congratulations! That. Which, what's your your takeaway uh, from the opening night performance? I mean, that obviously wasn't pretty, but there was some toughness in there. And you look at that thing like we didn't walk a guy, we didn't make an error. We had the one miscue on a bunt. But if you walk guys in that situation on a night like tonight, and you kick the ball around, and this they could have scored twenty runs. Um, and for us to give up the runs and then bounce right back and score every time but once. And I think the one time we didn't score, we had bases loaded one out with the right guys at the plate. It just didn't happen. Jack said you used the word gritty. Is that how you describe what you saw tonight from your team? 100%. Like they could have bagged it in a couple times. Um, when, you, when you come back and then you tie it and then you lose it again, and then you take the lead and they come back and, and do that stuff. I mean, it's... It takes some mental fortitude to do it, and that was nice to see. I mean, just talk about that eighth run, the eighth run, sixth inning. What's mm -hmm. the, what's the energy like? I mean, what's what's going on? Well, I think that every, once you get that thing going, the rhythm of the offense, like those guys kept rolling and rolling and just passing the baton to the next guy, and that was, I mean, that's it's as good as a dugout can get. Right Rich, there. did you have any uh, nerves tonight? I mean, yeah, obviously, I mean, what was it like? I, I talked to your wife; <laughs> she seemed nervous for you as oh, well. I mean, she's nervous all the time. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, of course, like when you're. You thought about this moment for a long time, and then you get out there, and it's and it's real. And I was just trying to get the first pitch, like prepare the guys for BP, and get the first pitch, and gonna get out of the guys' way. Jack. You were here, obviously, you know, a long time ago in that dugout, but you've been here many, many times in the opposite dugout. Mm -hmm. How did it kind of hit you realizing that you're in that dugout in that you know head coach position? Yeah, I sat there like after BP, that little 40 minute twilight time where you really have nothing to do. And it's kind of my favorite time just to sit there and, and listen to the guys while they're relaxed. And you're like, man, this is this is pretty neat. Jack, Jack, talk about your defensive MO and how that played a part tonight. Brian, of course, gave up three errors, ended up being proving costly with, with the runs they gave up. How big is de this defensive performance for you, especially since you guys gave up? Yeah, no when you have a chance to get out that are average to above average plays, and we made a couple above average catches, in right field and in center field, like to take those and pull them back and put them on your side. It makes you hard to score on on that part. So when the ball's flying out of the yard and you don't handle the baseball, like you're you're gonna be in trouble. How That's about Jack tonight? That was that was impressive. A couple of the catches, the really gritty at bats with two strikes and then the home run like and we talked about like Sonny got the big hit and then at that moment somebody else has got to finish it. Like if you're gonna have a big inning at the end with two outs, somebody's gotta step up there and finish the inning and I thought Jack did that. In a game like this where Brian is hitting every pitcher that you throw at them, what's what's the mindset and how are you guys preparing to capitalize the next inning to score more? Well, I think it's just the ebb and flow of the game, right? Like do you they score, we score, just handle it, try to treat every inning as its own as its own little game and stack up how many times you can win innings and then get back out there and and, and do that. So you're talking about that. Your pitchers tonight. Well, I think you saw a lot of good stuff. We'll go back and look at the video, but there were some big punch outs and big moments. And I think we could obviously there's some pitches you want to take back. Like, was it the right pitch? Probably was. The location wasn't. I think all those guys have capable stuff. I mean, you saw from Galvan. I gave up the hits, but like there are some moments in there where it's really, really good. We're just trying to get that consistent. I and mean, we've seen it. Like it's first time out there for him. In this situation too. After Bryant tied in the eight, talk about how you were executed offensively. Cedar Berg laid down a perfect bun, just were able to manufacture that go ahead. Yeah, and it starts with Ziska with the hustle double, and we get out there. And I mean, Matt Cedarberg has been sitting on that bench since BP, and for him to go out there in that situation, first pitch, roll it down as good as you could roll it out. And then Braden Cleese came off the bench in a tough at bat with two strikes, and we knew that was going to happen. Like there was no doubt on anybody on that bench that Braden Cleese was going to put the ball in play. Um, he, he's one of the grittier guys, too. What's your approach when you have, have a back and forth game like this, where you have, for example, between that middle of the sixth inning where you guys were down, down or when af after a cut that they made that comeback in the seventh? Approach as far as? But just as far as, like, what do you tell the team? Do you tell the team anything? Just, or no, just, just like, stick with it. Like, if it's, the game's going to go like this. It's one of those nasty Friday night college baseball games that you're just going to have to keep playing and keep playing. And when you get your opportunity, make it, make it count. First game of the season, gritty game, ugly game, mm -hmm. but a win. What is that? What did you like most from your guys tonight? That they just stuck with it. Like that was from from pitch one. They were in it. They they, they adjusted on the fly. They handled adversity. Um, it, it was fun to watch. How is it setting the communication team? tonight? Uh, you had some moments there with the third base coach, with some goes and some stops. Yeah, and I and I think when you go back and look, it's easy. I've done it right. I did it for a long time. When you look at it and you see the throw, you're like, okay, maybe he could have scored. But I know exactly what he's thinking. Like it's two outs, and I got. Lex Bodick are coming to the plate and Sonny and I'm not going to run us out of an inning. Um, if it looks good, he probably would have sent him, but we scored eight runs in that inning. So that's, if one of those guys get thrown out of the plate, how many runs do you score? Two, th 
2,602 people were in the stands watching this one tonight. What did, how do you compare tonight's atmosphere with some of the atmospheres that maybe you experienced as a player or as an assistant? In this place, ago? in that dugout, the feel of that is as good as any anyone that I've ever been in. I've been in some big ones, but the feel, the way the stadium works, the way the crowd noise amplifies on the field, it's as good as it gets. Obviously, first of many, but how does it feel to set the tone on the season with this win being as gritty as it was? No, it's great. Like that's we, We've talked about that. Like We sat in this room at 3.30 and talked about we didn't know how it was going to happen, what it was going to take. You just got to stick with it, and when that opportunity comes, be ready to capitalize, and, and they did that. Did your players prove something to you tonight in their, their performance? Um, I think, I mean, I've seen that. I've seen that from the way they went about their business in the weight room to the classroom to the practice. Like I've been proved, maybe confirmed a little bit. Just time for one or two more. What's the approach tomorrow? I know it's a double header. There's weather considerations. Who knows what that'll be like tomorrow. So how do you kind of approach tomorrow? Well, that could be a long day. Yeah, Nesbitt gets the ball, and we go from there, and whoever's available, we kind of told them, like, guys, we don't look at this as saving somebody. Like, I don't want to go to sleep at night thinking we could have used somebody that we didn't because we're saving it for another game. Like, our goal was to go out there and win the first one tomorrow. We'll deal with that after that. How do you enjoy this one tonight? Oof, it's, it's hard not to enjoy it. Go home, probably just sit down and let my wife ask me a bunch of questions about some of the things that happened, and then try to go to sleep and get ready to do it again. Have you talked to Coach Bergman uh, in the lead up to the, yeah, tonight? Yeah, probably about every other day. So I gotta go check my phone now, but I'm sure there's something on there. What's kind of his? What's been his message to you? Just you know what to do. You've been here before. Just trust. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, 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 Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you guys.